Hi, this is an overview of the secure multi-tenancy architecture, a Cisco validated design. Today, traditional data centers separate different tasks and business units into hardware silos. This is often seen as an unfortunate necessity in order to provide guarantees of separation and performance. This design has a major flaw in that it wastes hardware resources, requires a large capital expenditure, and invites complexity and low hardware utilization. To address this problem, we present the secure multi-tenancy architecture, which uses strong software separation to provide the same partitions virtually instead of physically. This architecture is powered by VMware virtualization, Cisco network and servers, and NetApp storage. Let's look at the components of the SMT architecture. First, at the compute layer, virtualization is provided by VMware vSphere with virtual networking and security made possible by VMware vShield and the Cisco Nexus 1000V virtual switch. The physical servers are Cisco UCS blades governed by a UCS 6100 fabric interconnect. The Ethernet layer is comprised of Cisco Nexus 5000 series switches for interconnectivity and Nexus 7000s for uplink and layer 3 routing. The fiber channel fabric is connected via Cisco MDS fiber channel switches. For storage, we leverage NetApp FAS series storage controllers, which are virtualized using the NetApp multi-store technology. Management of each layer is provided by a suite of tools, including VMware vCenter, Cisco UCS Manager, and the NetApp suite of manager tools. We'll get to end-to-end -to -end management solutions later on. Here's an example SMT deployment in just three racks. This package delivers 384 cores, 4.5 terabytes of combined RAM, and 216 terabytes of storage, all connected with end-to-end -end 10 gigabit Ethernet. In designing the SMT architecture, we kept four key pillars in mind. First, availability, meaning that uptime is crucial. This means designing with HA features, fault tolerance, and redundancy throughout. Second, secure separation, meaning that each tenant environment is self-contained. This means network isolation and system security features are deployed end-to-end. -end. Third, service assurance, meaning that the architecture can satisfy consistent SLAs. This has implications for compute, network, and storage resources. And fourth, management. This means that in addition to element management tools provided at each layer, it must be straightforward to automate and simplify the end-to-end -end management of the entire environment. Let's examine the technology behind each of these pillars in turn. First, to achieve high availability, a wide variety of fault tolerance features were brought to bear. While the methods of these vary, they all boil down to leveraging redundancy to survive a failure. For example, vCenter Heartbeat ensures that a redundant pair of vCenter servers are always running. All network fabrics, both fiber channel and Ethernet, feature redundant switches, with multipath Ethernet being handled by Cisco virtual port channels or VPCs. On the storage side, NetApp RAID DP provides disk level redundancy, NetApp HA provides controller level redundancy, and Snapshots, SnapMirror, and SnapVault provide strong data protection. Secure separation is defined as disallowing control or data from moving between two tenant environments. It is enforced at every layer. At the compute layer, control of the UCS and vCenter are governed by role-based access control, and VMs are protected by vShield and Nexus 1000V policies. At the network layer, ACLs, VLAN segmentation, and QoS classification provide strong separation of tenant networks. Finally, storage separation is achieved using NetApp Multistore, which provides separate vFile units for each tenant's data. This ties tightly into VLAN separation by means of IP spaces, which route VLAN tag traffic to vFilers at a very low level. Service assurance is the practice of enforcing service level agreements between tenants. This is achieved end-to-end -end by using the resource management features provided by each vendor. Compute resources can be governed by resizable VMware resource pools and the dynamic resource scheduler. Network QoS enforcement runs from the QoS features of UCS down through the Cisco Nexus QoS tagging and enforcement mechanisms. On the storage side, NetApp FlexShare can set the performance priorities for storage containers, while storage reservations and thin provisioning can be used to manage storage capacity. For end-to-end -end management of the complete environment, we turn to trusted partners in the automation field to simplify things. You can check out complete demos we have for each of these vendors. 
Thanks for watching. If you'd like to know more, visit imaginevirtuallyanything.com or contact your NetApp, Cisco, or VMware sales representative.